If you look at the Earth from space, you can see it. The arteries and veins of the Earth, moving water all around. I first stop to think about where these rivers come from. Well, their history might surprise you. For you to completely understand, let's go back to the beginning where it all started. This story will revolve around a young man who lives alone in the middle of a tundra. He lived in his own world, isolated from everyone else. He once had it all, friends, family, and money. Unfortunately for him, one by one, those things he loved began to disappear. His family disowned him because he didn't want to do the things they wanted him to. His friends were turned against him, and all that money he had no longer had any meaning, as the things he bought with it would only temporarily give him happiness. Its effects would wear off. Now, he's got himself into a dilemma. It was a winter night. The wind was harsh, making the outside world unbearable. With no way of keeping him warm, he had no way to survive the night. With his wish of being alone, he became lost himself. No hope to finding help. He laid on the cold snow in defeat. The blistering cold snow making him turn into ice. The man had felt that all hope of survival was lost. He slowly lost his ability to think and began to cry, thinking of how things could have ended differently. His vision begins to fade, and the man died in the cold winter night alone without anyone to care. Anyways, rivers are made because a lot of water want to go somewhere from a high to low and the land under it gets soft or something and it turns into a water road. The end.